So again, first thing we're going to do, if I was going to simplify a problem like this, this is number 54, you guys can go ahead and condense as well. So what we'll do is I'll plot, is I'll, um, first thing I can do is inside the parentheses, I want to simplify this. 2 divided by ln of x cubed minus ln of x plus 3 minus ln of x minus 1. All right, now we have a division. We know that when we have, I'm sorry, subtraction, we can rewrite that as the division. Oops. So I have 2 times ln of x cubed divided by x plus 3 minus ln of x minus 1. Yes? And the problem? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so does everybody understand where I got to this point? Does that make sense? Yeah, down here, yes. But to my rules, does that ever make sense? Okay, no? Where did I lose you, Brett? Because I'm hearing some talking over here that doesn't need to say. So that's a question, that's okay. Okay, so the first part, all I did was I brought the three up there, right? The second part, what I did is, you can write, when you have the subtraction of two logarithms, you can write that as the quotient of them in one single logarithm. Hence my point, ln of x of a minus ln x of b is the same thing as, or sorry, log base, a of a, log base x of a minus log base x of b is the same thing as one single quantity of log base x of a over b. Okay? So I did that with this, but now I need to do it again. So I have 2 ln of x cubed over x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. All right? And now we need to say, well, how are we going to simplify that? That's like a triple fraction. What do we do from there? So when you guys talked about rational expressions last year in Algebra 2, what we did is we talked about this. We can simplify this by multiplying by the reciprocal. Because my denominator, I can rewrite as x minus 1. Right? So therefore, this becomes now 2 times ln of x cubed over x squared minus 1. Because x plus 1 times x minus 1 is the difference of two squares. Then I bring the 2 up. So I have ln of x cubed over x squared minus 1 raised to the second power. Right? And then you could obviously simplify that a little bit further. Um, you could say that's going to be x to the sixth. And then this would be, we're not going to FOIL that out, but you could do ln of x to the sixth power over x squared minus 1 squared. But I'm not going to FOIL that out. OK? Where did I lose you? Huh? You lost your notes. All right, we'll have to go through some examples. Did that help out, though, a little bit? All I want you to do is just apply the operations.